Oh, good morning. It's a, it's a beautiful Monday morning. Good start to the week here. Cold, crisp air. The leaf peepers are everywhere. I'm looking at the leaves changing. We got a decent load of stuff going in here. We got a little bit of everything in the back. There we go. We. I'm saying we again. French. No. No French. Uh, we got aluminum, copper, batteries, radiators, brass. 97 Subaru Outback. We got the cat off that Outback. Should be a pretty good day. Decided to uh, take mostly back roads today. Seeing as that really not a time crunch for anything. Um, a little longer of a ride, but it's one, uh, it's one route that I take sometimes. They just paved the roads, and uh, it's really smooth. So, just coming up on a, I don't know, guy standing there with a stop sign. Nobody ever doing anything. There's a truck with lights and cones and stuff. And then there's a guy with a stop sign. But nothing going on. It's just you got to stop and wait, I guess. So this guy that I bring the cars to, as I mentioned before, he's got a scale now. And uh, he also has a small scale where he buys all, you know, the other stuff. And uh, he claims that, well, I've seen his price sheet and he's paying like way more. He's beating out anyone else around. So um, he's just trying to uh, do a high volume of stuff. And... Uh, it's kind of good because I I had uh, I stripped my ACs. I usually do it before winter, before they get covered in snow. So I did that and uh, processed some uh, aluminum wheels and some junk tires that I was um, hanging on to, trying to sell this and that. And he's paying good money for uh, clean aluminum wheels, so uh, went ahead and processed those and some other aluminum and stuff that I had gathered in my wire barrel as I cut off all the cords from all the appliances and stuff that I scrap. And, um, so I was getting a load together to um, bring down to try out him as far as, uh, you know, I haven't sold him stuff like that yet, but that other yard I go to, which is closer, their, their prices just suck, but you know, they're the closest ones and the only one around for a while. So, uh, most guys don't want to take that ride down that far and, you know, get, get a couple more bucks. So, uh, I said, you know, I, I would have taken a ride down just the truck and, but it would be nice if I could get a vehicle, um, that I could take down at the same time, seeing as that I can just hook up to the to the 2010 and take a nice ride. So, um, you know, sometimes the cars just roll in, and I'll have four cars sitting in the driveway um, ready to go. But other times, I go weeks without getting a call or anything to pick one up. So it's just the way it goes. Um, 
still sitting here. No cars. Well, one car going by. Guy's still got the stop sign up. No idea when it'll be my turn, but that's okay. No big rush here. So it worked out good. Um, I got that Subaru, and that guy from the works for the town, the DPW. He's been talking about this thing for a long time. I see him around, and he always talks to me and stuff when he sees my truck at different places. And man, he just wanted to talk about this damn Subaru. But finally, he pulled the trigger and said, "It's time." So uh, it was kind of nice to get that. It's just junk, not worth anything. Took the battery out. Battery was junk. And. Uh, had that one cat on it no aluminum wheels um, he did throw some steels and tires in there which uh, it's kind of nice because obviously it's extra weight and um, this guy doesn't care because who he's selling the crushed cars to they don't care if there's tires inside so he he fills the cars with tires and then crushes them so uh, Whatever process they're doing, they don't care that the rubber is in there. But uh, So it's nice to get a car and be able to get rid of some tires of my own, um, seeing as that the town charges, you know, to take them. So here we go. Finally, I just switch the sign to slow. So we're going to go slow by them. I don't know what's going on here. So, that little fiasco right there costed me my turn, my right turn. I was supposed to go that way, but just got rerouted a mile out of the way. No McDonald's this morning. No Dunkin' Donuts this morning. Nothing. Got money tied up in two cars. Seen that uh, 2011 Lincoln I got. Bought the Subaru Friday. Bought the Lincoln on Sunday. So, had, uh, always got to have the hot coffee in the morning, you know, when I first wake up. Got to have that, a couple cups. Well, I sit there and, uh, go on. Oh, something shifting in the back. Um, on the old computer and, you know, search around and see what else I can find. So, a couple of coffees and uh, had a piece of toast just to tide me over, so it's, uh, still got about an hour and 20 minutes when we get to the scrapyard. By the time, uh, hopefully, we make some, uh, some good money, and then we can celebrate. By the way, I don't make Rosie sit in the back seat. She actually prefers the back seat. Put her in the front, she'll just go right to the back, but in this truck she likes it because uh, she can stretch out on the back seat. She's got her own window. A little chilly today, got her blanket. She 
he only looks out the window when we go through, you know, uh, towns and stuff where there's stuff to look at, people, but she definitely enjoys the rides more in her old age than before. She used to, used to not really care about riding in the trucks, really didn't want to, didn't seem like she enjoyed it, but these days, I don't know, she knows when I'm leaving, she tells me she wants to go, so. Big cash payout. Woo! Well, that was worth the ride. We're celebrating the good stuff. You know I like Wendy's, but today we're making money. You order fries, regular little cup, and then they they just pour another huge container right over top after, right in the bag. You can't, look at this. Oh, stop it. You can't even see. See that cup down there? That's what the fries come in. Look at this. Funny. Beeping horns is funny. <laughs> Jeez. Take them slow. I'll never get to the burger. I don't know how to get to it. I had to eat all the fries first. Oh. Fortunately, I can't use any of that footage from the uh, scrapyard, which I mean, really not much to see anyway, but there's, um, there's like a couple, like a guy and a lady that, you know, they're like husband and wife and they work in the little building doing all the, the small scale stuff, you know, and uh, the guy's very polite. Look at that. Double cheesy bacon. Flat top grilled. We got the lettuce, tomato, onions. Oh man. So. Wow. Well, Excuse me, I don't have
So the guy is very polite. Same with the lady. I got all this stuff out of my truck. Of course, I weighed the car in first. They were pretty impressed with that little Subaru weighed. How much I stuffed in it. But... So, just get to the point, will you? Um, the guy did all my stuff, weighed everything, brought the slip in, you know, to the office. And when I went up to the little booth to the office to get paid, just as I was stepping up there, that same guy started getting into a fight with one of the other guys that worked there. And actually, it's an old guy that has worked there since the beginning. And in the beginning, I actually had words with him. He's very grumpy, but after they set him straight, he was nice to me after that. So, they start yelling at each other. I mean, going at it. The guy comes in. Tells his wife that's working. We're out of here. We quit. Find someone new. We're gone. So. They grab their stuff. Hop in their car and leave. They've been working there a while too. So the girl that was working in the office was kind of upside down from it all they actually um, barely had enough cash to pay me out so his prices are very good the car itself I did not make a, a whole lot on because it only had that one cat and that wasn't really uh, a great one. A lot of dogs barking. Rosie's not barking. She's looking though. So I look at my print out my slip where they write everything down I notice I had two buckets I showed you one was number one copper which is all the copper pipe that is clean the other one is like all the pieces that have solder and you know crap on it maybe paint or whatever I separated it's not much of a difference in price, um, but it's just something I did. It took two seconds to clean with the grinder and, you know, cut it up and throw it in there. But um, I noticed on my slip that it only was marked off that I had number two copper. Nothing under number one. So then I started looking at everything else to make sure it was okay because now... So I said to the girl, I said, hey, I hate to do it to you. I said, but I know those people just quit, but I had this. It's not on there. So we went into the building, me and her, and all my stuff was still on the scale because they just up and left. They hadn't cleaned anything up or put anything away where it went. So she said, well... She didn't even know what the difference was. She didn't even know about really any of that stuff. So she said, well, I'll have to take everything off. Man, I don't know what's going on here. Walmart parking lot is crazy. So I gave her a hand, we took everything off the scale, 
threw it to the side, put my bucket of number one on there, and weighed that. It was another 40 bucks. So it does, you know, it did make a difference. 40 bucks, I mean, that basically paid for fuel. So now that I'm done filling my face, oh, full. I didn't eat all those fries, but Rosie's still working on them. Well, when I pulled in there with the whole shebang, 12,460 pounds. It's a lot of weight. So that, that little Subaru, that thing weighed 36.40. Pretty impressive for a small car like that. Um, so that brought 245.70 just for the, the scrap weight of the car. And over here we got 12 pounds of number one copper. That clean stuff that they left out it was uh, 39, 3906 for that. 36 pounds of number two copper, all the dirty stuff. So that was $109. So I guess, yeah, well, I had more number two than number one, of course, but uh, the difference is only. 330 a pound for number one and 305 for number two so you make the decision whether it's worth it or not it's not a whole lot but I guess if you had more it would be we had a little bit of brass 18 pounds two dollars a pound 36 bucks just a small little tiny bucket of brass and hardly anything a few of those little fittings off the water heaters and stuff he got me for a pound of dirty brass. I don't know, something he didn't like there that I didn't clean. 65 cents. Uh, that barrel of uh, wire, that's all I do is uh, if I get any extension cords or, you know, all the cords off the appliances, I just cut them off, throw them in. 56 pounds at a dollar a pound was $56. Um, so that's not bad. It's just a... You know, a trash barrel it just sits there, and I just, every time I get something, throw it in. So, it's worth it. Uh, they called something aluminum extrusions, 41 pounds, 20 bucks. Probably some of that aluminum in the barrels, I don't know. Um, aluminum radiators, I cleaned them. It's a big one. And a skinnier one, 98 pounds, 34 bucks. That's pretty good. That would have been like a fraction of that if I didn't clean the ends off. Took two seconds with a sawzall, just cut the plastic tanks off. We got uh, 71 pounds of copper aluminum rads, which was all those ACs. 89 bucks, dollar 25 a pound. Oh, and uh, the aluminum was uh, 50 cents a pound. I hate aluminum. It's a, it takes a lot to, you know, I don't usually do much of that. But we had uh, <clears throat> nine aluminum wheels clean. They're supposed to pay by the pound. It's supposed to be 70 cents a pound. They paid me $12 a wheel. I don't know what's up with that, but probably worked out about the same 108 bucks just for those nine wheels. I mean, usually, like, he pays with the tire on, he still pays 10 bucks per wheel. He doesn't care if the tire's on there. So, 
usually I don't even bother but I did go to a friend's shop and uh, take some of those off because there were some older aluminum wheels that were really heavy and I thought well he's paying per pound so I might as well take them off and then you gotta cut the valve stem off to make it clean any wheel weights that are on it because those are made out of lead so uh, whatever I mean uh, he gave me 12 bucks a wheel you know clean so two dollars more per wheel to do that um, I had three batteries three car batteries eight bucks a battery 24 bucks you know I had 51 pounds of non-car batteries which are those little lawn mower and you know uh, lawn tractor type you know motorcycle batteries whatever those little ones 18 cents a pound nine dollars and 18 cents for those and I mean that was nothing to just uh, you know throw in a um, milk crate and just let it sit there until I was ready so not too bad nice little payday uh, part of the fun for me is I don't really calculate it up you know like before I go I don't really um, you know look at much what I got as far as value like um, I like the surprise you get when you go there and you you know you take it in and then you can you know celebrate accordingly some guys have scales at their house and their garage and they do it you know they know what they're getting but so don't know what's gonna happen there but uh, I guess they're hiring <laughs> I probably work there even part-time he always needs help even just uh, drive the tow trucks and stuff but too far away from me I wake up too early waste all that gas drive all the way down there and be too far from home you know <laughs> 